Hey there, everybody, what's new in the whole universe? I hope everything's fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value to my own experiences and I feel a little bit of happy and even X3 factor of happy. How much of happy do you feel right now? Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I, I'm Igor, as you know. And also I'm George, as you maybe know, because Igor is Russian version of name Yegor. Yegor is Igor in English. And Yegor is Georgi in Russian language. And also Georgi is George in English language. Something different soundish, yes? And right now you maybe see at my name of the channel and thinking. Hmm, he says that he is Igor and George and Georgi and Igor, but John, what? <laughs> what? Why? Why did you call your channel is uh, as John? And uh, if John Lovegood, we understand it. We understand it correct because Lovegood is something like shiny, something sharing, scary, and uh, you are God blessed man, and you are sh sharing love to people. Amazing! It it's good. But why John? Yesterday I thought that it was amazing idea. For today I think so, but I feel a little bit misconception maybe inside of me. But maybe I will get used to it because uh, I I will tell you a story. Maybe I will say it not correct uh, in English uh, understanding, but I will try it. Yes, and uh, today, even yesterday. Yesterday I decided to refocus my attention from Russian language to English language. Previously I was creating content in Russian a lot. A lot of Russian content, a lot of uh, different editing style, a lot of uh, th things uh, prepared speech, a lot of uh, working on English language and uh, it was good. It was amazing. I I'm so grateful for it, for it and I feel gratitude for these things. And uh, I decided yesterday that I should uh, refocus my attention. Why? Because I understand that I gave a lot to people who are Russian. Not like super a lot, I can give to them more, but I thought that need to focus on something that I love a lot. And I really love English language. I really love it in a way of I like to speak in it, I like to read in it, I like to listen how it sounds. For me it is uh, comfort. It, it's not like a comfort that oh I, I will relax right now, but it is comfort mental, mental happiness, mental comfort of happiness. And I think that we should choose something that is happy for us. And uh, yesterday I was uh, thinking about Hmm, how should I change my direction? What should I do? And uh, you know that my main goal in my life right now for this current moment it is uh, to be a showman worldwide known and uh, it is I think I don't think that it is a kind of bad goal to be worldwide known or maybe uh, be singing on stadiums. I prefer to sing with people and I like to do things with people and it is a good goal that I can go for. It doesn't mean that uh, we should go to the people uh, fame and something. It means that I love people and it is something that will be curious for me how it feels like and can I like use my inner potential to go to this goal because I really love to sing and uh, I really love to dance and to do showman things and playing drums and I want to say that uh, I did not do practice for a while for three four days because I I did how to say it injury injury I hurt it but now it is better now it is better I it, is do it doesn't mean that it is broken, but I was playing a lot of drums and now it is uh, not really comfortable. But it it's good. It's good now. And okay, you know, my main goal is showman worldwide. It will be good. And I want to visit different countries also. And uh, also, you know, my goal and inner spirit of English. I like it. And then I started to think, hmm. I want to be a singer, I want to be a person who is showman and also I, I like writing, writing in any language, but in English I prefer more, by the way. But I don't know a lot of words in English. I, but it is, uh, we, we can change it because we learn it. And I started to think, hmm, something wrong. 
something interesting. It is I want to be an a English English uh, speaking showman, and I do content and focus right now more on Russian language. If so, then uh, why do I do this? Why do I focus on Russian a lot when I can go to my dream dream of doings? Not like a dream, it is a goal. Goal to sing to people on, on the stadium, 4 million people, it will be good enough for them, like real people, to make the most largest concert for every person and share to them love and good attitude and things and it is curious it is more of curiosity than of like ego things that i want to make myself it is curious i'm so curious in in life and uh, i started to think russian or english hmm interesting then i should pick english and uh, focus on russian less okay we started from it then i started to think about uh, my family that Right now we have divorce in our family. You maybe know it uh, if you've seen a lot of my videos before. But uh, we have a divorce in our family that uh, we have uh, my mother, uh, mother line and also we have my father line. With father line I don't speak so much because uh, I focus on speech with mother line but I don't think I don't want to say that we in a bad communication with both of them but uh, it is kind of shaky if uh, we will see in this perspective I think so I don't want to say bad words uh, against someone because uh, they are all my family and we understand it but uh, I started to think hmm it will be not really nice uh, like uh, to create it was it was previously this way i don't know how to describe it because it is so personal and uh, it is uh, something i will tell you you can imagine in your mind it but uh, previously we had with uh, my family previously my uh, my father was beating my mother it was uh, in my childhood and uh, it was in a year of uh, 2010 2011 uh, or something and even in early ages sometimes not uh, like every day but sometimes when he was drunk and uh, i didn't want to say this uh, on this channel because i was scared that i will be stalked by them and uh, I think that uh, it's okay. Right now I opened it and I'm not afraid. And uh, yes, yes, I feel a, lit a, a bit a bit confident when I shared it right now. I, I feel it right now. And uh, after that, in 2011, uh, or uh, I mean that it happened before, and uh, in 2013 we went away. We've gone out of our father. And uh, in the same time, out of uh, my, uh, my father line. And uh, before we went, we've gone, my mother uh, asked me, Igor, would you like to be with father or with uh, me? And I was crying in this moment because I didn't know. And uh, I was thinking about to be with uh, father father's father my grandfather i mean if uh, we believe that we have all bloodline we have the same bloodline and i will talk about it after and uh, my mom asked me would you like to be with uh, him or with me and i thought that i would like to be either with mother or with grandfather and grandmother of father line because I thought that uh, they are kind of, uh, they are smart and something like this nature and uh, I respect them. I don't want to say that uh, I, in those times I respected uh, them a lot more than my father and I thought that, not like I respected them, I, I thought in a way that it will be good for me. Like it was uh, 
selfish i mean i think so i thought that uh, it will be a better thing to live with grandmother and grandfather because they i i thought in those moments and maybe think right now that uh, in those moments i thought that uh, they love me and uh, they care about me more and it was thinking in a way of they were gifting to me a lot of things and I thought that, uh, yes, I want to be with people who gifted to me more. And <laughs> you maybe right now think, uh, what? But uh, it, it is uh, my ages of, uh, like, young teenagers. And I'm not fully inside of my mind. I, we think about advantages that we have. Okay. And then, after this situation, mom asked me, and I thought about uh, grandfathers to be with and um, grandparents, but I chose my mom because I wanted to be with her more. I understood that she loves me and she sometimes cries with me. I mean that she supports and hugs me. And uh, when I feel bad and when I feel not uh, in my mood and uh, I decided to be with her. I decided to be really with uh, her because I thought that to be a nice ch choosing point. And uh, after some days we went away, we've gone with... Uh, I will not open the name because I think that it will be not uh, really nice. We, I mean that uh, with partner of my mom, okay? And... Uh, I think that the stepfather we call it, but I don't I don't know how to call it because uh, stepfather it is when they are married, but they are I don't know they are married or not. Uh, I will call it partner, okay? And I respect him a lot. He's a good gentleman. He's nice man and uh, father. I think so, in a way of to your uh, human, human, human. I will mean not father, human, human to to relationship with people. It means that more than father, it is a human like. And then I want to share right now something open, openful for you. Then in 2015, or some ages of this nature, the, or 2014, there were a lot of court things, court and jurisdiction things between between my sister and uh, father and also between uh, between grandfathers and my sister and my mom and uh, them like uh, you understand divorce and divorce uh, not like official divorce but we had uh, i i don't know what's the name of it uh, it is uh, one moment royalty or, uh, <clears throat> not royalty but I would say it's uh, real estate, real estate. Yes, we had the real estate that we were for my mom and also for or not for my mom. For sister, maybe or uh, maybe, 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 maybe I, f for someone who is from uh, this part of my family and uh, f also for my father and their part of family. And it was a court thing, like it was court and uh, thinking and uh, doing these things. And uh, it is kind of, again, it is the conflict of the court because of money and because of these things. We understand it. And uh, I, uh, I don't want to focus on it more, but uh, you understand that in this situation, everybody thinks in their way. Like, they did wrong, they did wrong, and it is a conflict. That I am a person who was inside of this conflict uh, and uh, at all. Because I, I, I didn't want to focus on it. And uh, I didn't think that this uh, kind of... Uh, that I should focus on. I was interested in uh, computer games in this time. And uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I, I should say this. I was focusing on computer games and uh, I was playing and I... I even didn't ask anything. I was uh, like listening. Okay, it's okay. It's uh, it's how it goes. And I'm in my own life, like uh, not the person who flows, but person who accepts. Person who accepts everything. It's okay. I I think so in every situation. And uh, okay, 
And sometimes it is good, sometimes it is not really nice because uh, you don't know why you leave, why you do this. Uh, accepting is a good thing and not in the same time sometimes. But accepting is a good thing. I, I believe in more that it's more positive. And okay, next. What happened? It is uh, divorced and court things. And uh, from 2014 or 2015 to 2020, nobody wrote to me anything even to 2021 2021 i imagine six years nobody from father family didn't write to me for from this father line and it's okay it's normal i think so and i didn't write to them it's normal i thought sometimes that it will be maybe good to say to them uh, like Happy Happy New Year or something, but I thought that uh, I don't I don't know why didn't I do this. I thought that it will be not really good for my mother if I will say to them. It means that kind of if you support them, then you don't support them, and uh, it is uh, you know to this to that side always. But I I want to support my mom, and uh, I love her a lot, and. Uh, it doesn't mean that I don't love them. If we will choose someone who loved too, I will choose my mom. And uh, I love her and uh, I I want to choose this. Because, I don't know, my, my, my tears right now are saying that it, maybe it is the right choice, but we should pick one. And uh, next, what was... Uh, it was uh, in uh, 2000, 2021 when I was doing videos on my YouTube channel of Russian version. And uh, I wanted to say, I wanted to be historically correct. I didn't want to say that uh, in a way of... Uh, yes, I lived in, a best, in the best family the best. Of the best. Yes, I could say it because uh, I I'm grateful for all moments that I have in my life. But uh, previously I thought that it was uh, ho home uh, home violence. Yes, if I thought that previously that it was home violence, that I should say on my videos that I lived in a home violence uh, family. Yes, but uh, I'm again I'm grateful for anything that was with me because it made me stronger and made my surroundings too stronger. It is universe where we live, and on 2021 I shared uh, information about this, and about my personal life also, and you understand that uh, I'm sorry if uh, it is for you the same thing because I understand that maybe someone who is 50 and older will watch me. Sorry for it. And I shared my personal uh, feeling, my personal life, not in a way that uh, who I have like sexual content uh, contact with, or maybe pornography, or I, I don't do pornography, but uh, you understand, not not of this nature. I s I was speaking in it in a like I thought it is polite way, in a polite way without uh, saying something bad to someone. Yes, and. Uh, if I was speaking not really nice thing, I said it in a polit I mean that historical correctness. And uh, I said it to my viewers from Russia that I had in uh, in Russia, I mean uh, I, I had uh, home violence in my family. And uh, I was speaking about this to support people. It was not like a, my goal to say that they are bad or something. I don't think so, because all people are good, I think. But it is not a good uh, deal, I think. Uh, home violence is this not good. And uh, I wasn't speaking this. And why do I speak right now changing from good, bad or something? Because... Uh, I think that I don't want to say right now something bad to them again, to that they will write again to me, but on this channel, because I understand that maybe they understand the English language. Maybe, I don't know. And uh, I was uh, saying it, and then finally my grandfather, 
after six years not writing to me and uh, didn't uh, mention me anywhere or maybe mentioned but I didn't see that on any of my contact that he had he wrote to me on comment section that I'm kind of a person imposter and also a person of nature not really nice uh, how can you say it against your father and uh, I understand it and uh, what should I say then? Yes, and uh, if you are an, an older person who watch me right now, let me know what should I say then? Should I uh, don't speak uh, fully then in this life? Should I say something untruthful? Should I say wrong words that my father didn't beat my mother? And uh, should I say that, uh, yes, it was correct that he beat it, and uh, that's amazing. I, I beat my mom too, and it's amazing. I, uh, n not, not this way, I don't think so. Yes? And uh, if so, then uh, I, I don't think that uh, ho home violence should be appearing in our world. Uh, we should live in a way of, we can say maybe rude words to each other. We can say rude words if we something feel not really nice. It's okay. I think that rude words will be much better than use your use your punches, you use your kicks or something. Yes, on, or even more. I think that rude words it will be better if if we will compare it. It will be much better. Don't use any anything of it. But uh, sometimes root words so we can use as, use it as slagging. Slagging in Irish it is when you are a friend and you can say, uh, "Hey, you are a skyscraper, come to me." And skyscraper you call the person who is tall and like two meters. And uh, I think it's okay. It's a funny way. In in a funny joking way, use rudeness. It's okay. I think so. It's my point of view, and I think that uh, we can do this and even tell about ourselves, ourselves and personal life if we feel inside of us not rudeness to people but the feeling of funny funny things i think that all things in life we can make funny and uh, we can laugh because love is he is a healing pot for us healing something mixture or something and uh, in 2021 my grandfather wrote to me these things i answered in a really polite way Thank you for your opinion. Uh, I respect it. And uh, really, I really do. Because he has his own opinion. I has my I has my own. And uh, yes, maybe I'm not agree with uh, his opinion uh, fully. But uh, I respect it. And because we have all opinions. So you, you understand it. You can agree with someone. We cannot. And uh, then it appeared a lot of more comments from him uh, in this nature. And uh, speaking that I'm... Uh, like not good person saying to me that I'm uh, kind of uh, fool, a fool and uh, things of this nature, then uh, something scary things were saying to me or I thought that they were saying. I think that they were uh, in their maybe way of thinking, they were kind of horrifying me, I don't know, uh, frightening, frightening me. Yes, and... Uh, I felt this way, I really felt, and uh, sometimes I went to, I, I was going to the bathroom and I was a little bit of uncomfortable because of it, also I was scared that I will uh, end myself, and in a way of uh, Jesus Christ, I even don't want to think about it, it's panic attacks, and uh, I'm uh, not a fan of needles and of uh, things like blades and... Uh, and uh, I was scared of it. Uh, and I uh, right now I can think that I am positive about it. And uh, affirmations, positive affirmations. And then I feel good. And I try to joke about this uh, to not be in this way of mood. And uh, he was writing to me not really nice things. And I uh, decided uh, that I will block him. I mean that uh, I will block uh, this account. I, I Not block, but hi hide hide on this channel you can hide someone on your channel and this person will be hidden from channel to not see it because i it doesn't mean that i don't want to connect with them i don't want to focus on it you understand it is two differences like when you are don't thinking about them 
you think about the world in total you think about and focus on different things 24 hours and on another things not on this yes if you have opportunity to focus on positivity or negativity would you like to you uh, what would you what will you choose yes this or this i think that you will choose positive because uh, you want to be happy and i i've chosen what i what makes me happy more this doesn't make me happy this makes me happy it's amazing and uh, i can accept it okay i accept it and uh, do things that make me happy thank you and uh, then i decided uh, after after this uh, to continue to upload content and do different things not of this nature i started to do less videos about and even i did not do anything of this nature yes i i've done one more video but uh, i wasn't speaking about home violence and then one more time he wrote to me things of uh, like uh, you are again not nice your mom is not nice and uh, saying bad words to my mom and uh, and to my uh, also it, it it was not a word to my mom, but it was meaning of it. It was kind of tricky uh, saying in a smart way that uh, my mom is not good enough. Uh, like to to make me thinking about this way. Y yes, you maybe understand what I'm speaking about. You can say like uh, not saying that your mom is not good. You can say like you, you do things that shows egoistical things of your mother or something of these things yes and you understand that it is kind of not against my mom fully but uh, tricky tricky reading makes it uh, makes it not really nice sound and uh, then he wrote this i decided to block again to hide and i i will use block block it will be good for this I'm confident and I'm not afraid of it. I'm I'm brave. I think so. And uh, thank you. Thank you for them too. It's amazing. And uh, after that I decided. Right now that's all. Nothing of messages. After that I decided to not speak about them. But I needed to share it somewhere. I decided to share right now the story. And thank you for listening. It, it, if you've listened fully. If you listened it. Uh, let, let me know. Especially people who wrote me a lot of comments before. Because I need your support. If uh, Sterling Moss or Artem Garros or Ryan or someone is watching me right now. Or one person who is a girl and she is watching right now. Let me know in the comment section if you watch till this moment. It it will mean a lot to me. And uh, thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you. And thank you. I I see you as a support, my viewers. I, I don't know why. But I know why. Because you listen to me. Yes. It's a kind of art therapy for me. Okay, I, I, tol I told you about the story. And right now you maybe think, why John Lovegood? Why not Igor Lovegood? Why not uh, something else? Because I decided that it will be much better to focus now on the name of John Lovegood. And uh, it means that I have created it inside of my mind. I have created it fully. Like, okay, John Lovegood. I have, like, it is my imagination. My imagination created this name. My, like, my imaginary friend that I have. And no one will input inside of my mind thoughts about this ideal person that is not really nice enough or something. Because it is my type of ideal. Yes, you understand it. Even that they will say that it is not nice, that it is not good. Then I understand that it is nice and all about my attitude. And I can improve this uh, type of uh, John Lovegood. And uh, why I decided to quit Russian channel and uh, like refocus. Refocus, I will use it. Not quit, refocus now. Because I don't want to quit because of someone. 
and uh, even if it is my parents even grandparents or grand grandfather or someone yes i don't want to to quit because of it because of uh, these things but i decided to change the name why because i don't want to make them first i don't want to make my family members to feel good because i upload my personal opinions because i upload uh, personal stories because i upload my feelings i want to be fully free okay guys and uh, if you watched till this moment to let me know please uh, would you like to hear from me like uh, then uh, fully sincere stories because uh, this is fully sincere story and uh, i want to share it and uh, wanted to share it because i don't know where to go to to ask for help or something not help but for listening more for listening and i decided to change it fully because previously i had my i will not call it because i don't want to to make it sound not really nice maybe and uh, previously i had my last name and i have it right now on my passport and uh, i decided to make my last name another that i created by my own not by my bloodline or maybe my bloodline because i don't know we are uh, about it i will tell you i will tell you i decided to make love good because it is so i i think that love is the best thing that we can share to people i think it is the best i think that power inside of the love fully in love and if not love then i don't think that we should exist yes it is uh, love is the perfect thing that we can see i love people i love girls i love one girl she's name is vlada and uh, i love uh, another girls and i can call their names too and uh, <laughs> yulia for example julia and uh, another it doesn't mean that i'm kind of to this to that uh, but i love people i love my mom i love people i love my viewers sterling moss artem garros ryan and other people who are writing to me and uh, it is something when i feel really nice when i say word love that's why i decided to use love good and to not mention my real last name to not make my siblings to think that i maybe do something against their family okay it means that i'm kind of fictional character for them right now for them for real world i'm real okay for them i will be a fictional character <laughs> if if they want to think this way okay or maybe i am real but i want to i i'm i'm a fictional character okay <laughs> think that i'm a fictional character guys john love good and uh, why john because i thought that igor it will be good but maybe when you maybe understand then in my childhood maybe one of them decided maybe my father maybe grandfather maybe someone else uh, they decided to name me igor maybe igor Maybe they decided to name me this way. It's okay. It's normal. And uh, I decided, okay, I I want to be fully free from them. I want to be fully free from them and uh, to be, to feel really free. And I decided to use John. I think that John, it is a good name. And uh, I googled it is a, like, long time ago was made this name and uh, i learned history and also john means one moment john name mini what does it mean in bible graced by god graced by god in russian language it will be one moment i will translate it graced by god yes it means that uh, good good really i like it and i think that uh, it is a nice name and uh, it was made much more before than uh, Russian language was made. It is one more important fact, because I believe in, histo in history that previous time is more stronger than new one. I think so, because uh, we are Slavic. Slavic language was created uh, earlier, 
in a timeline in a timeline or earlier than uh, than English. English is more old and uh, John is older than Russian. It means that this is kind of more powerful with people. I think that all that was older, it is a good thing in a way of uh, meaning, in a way of uh, noticing it. I don't know how to describe it. It is like, I imagine you believe in someone, in, in something that was in 1500 and uh, already exist or in something that uh, was appearing in 1818 oh, well, I think that 1800 1500 or 1800 what will you choose I think that that older 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 is uh, in my personal opinion I think that it is more like a Gregor a Gregor or energy vibrant or something I think so and I decided to use John because of this uh, logic. Because it is older than even the Russian language and nothing will scare me. And uh, I will feel confident. And Lovegood, because love is strong word, confident. And that's why I name myself John Lovegood. And I respect it. And uh, right now I think, what do you think about this choice? And uh, would you like to accept me with this name? If you watch the, my channel, please let me know because if you watch me and all commenters, uh, let me know, would you like to accept me with this name? Because I need someone who will accept me. Because I didn't hear from someone that who called me John. And uh, I don't know, maybe in the future I will change my real name to this. Because of this situation, because uh, previously I was a lot of... Uh, diving into misery misery and feeling not really nice because of uh, connections that right now we ha i have with my family with these things and i wanted to be free and i wanted to be happy and uh, this creating a new name means for me that i'm on my new or maybe i accept uh, like these things and i try to make myself happier because of it i make myself uh, confident you maybe understand, maybe not. If you was in this situation, if you were in this situation, maybe you will understand. If not, then try to do this if if you want. Uh, again. And, okay, it is about these things. And uh, John Lovegood, I am right now. And why don't I feel fully of this name? Because it is kind of uh, unhabitable for me. But uh, I previously I thought that it was a nice choice. And why did I think that nice choice? Because in a mood of low mood i thought that john it is something really soundish inside of me innerly sounds good but now i stand in a good mood i sometimes uh, prefer even igor any name i prefer any name yes when you are in a good mood you accept anything you accept anything i think because of it yes i don't know do you understand me <laughs> and uh, i i think that it is good sounding sometimes you can call me johnny or Igor, you can you can choose your own possibility and uh, your own your own what you want to choose. And uh, thank you a lot for watching this video. Thank you for your support. I love you a lot. I love any person on this world, even uh, my family of this nature, even of this nature, because I think that we are all human and need to focus on people who accept you. If you focus on them, then it will be much better than try to convince someone who is uh, like has their own opinion about this and uh, they w will go against you even if they are your family. And uh, one more interesting thing I want to say. Why I was speaking that I may be bloodlined with them. Right now will be story about it. Short, I think. Because in my childhood, there was a lot of, uh, a lot of cases when my grandparents and my father was asking my mom, uh, why is Igor is not like, uh, lo lo not like me? He's not looking like my way. He's not looking, I mean that uh, my face is not, my face is not like my family. He's, I look... Uh, 
different, not the type of, and it was always, always, till the 2013 even, 2012 maybe, 2012 or 13 or something, 2010, uh, 8, 8, uh, 9 or something, I mean that in ages of uh, when I was, uh, I remember it, okay, in these ages, maybe I was uh, younger, maybe older, I don't fully remember, but uh, I, I remember that it was, they were speaking about it, and uh, they were thinking that my mom maybe has me from another man, another person or something, or maybe I was changed in a way of inside inside of the home-born house, like when people are born, born from mother, I mean. And uh, they were thinking this way. That's why I, I think that I have all the rights to say anything in these cases, because they thought that I'm not from their family. And uh, I can say right now that I'm not from their them. So, yes, I think so. If we will be like correct fool for these things, if they guess about my uh, like that I'm from their family or not, then I can say that I'm from no I'm from not their family. And then uh, maybe my mom has uh, another partner, and I don't want to say that I'm from this partner or some some something, and uh, I don't want to say that my mom is kind of going from one man to another but uh, if so uh, okay i w will accept it better i can accept it much better than the fact that they were saying to me the fact that uh, i was born from someone else uh, and uh, i'm from not their family okay i'm not from their family i'm with my mom and i believe to my mom more and uh, I want to believe in her, and even if I'm not from someone else, not from my father, then it's okay. Then I will change my last name, I will change my first name, and I will live my own life. And I will love my, f my family, that I see my family, and uh, my father maybe that I don't know, and uh, my mother that I love a lot. I think this way. I think this way. I feel really tears right now, and I think that I said it correct. I really feel so. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for being with me. Be cool. Always in Professor Daily. Love your family that you think that your family is it. It is. You know right now more facts about me. Let me know if, uh, if you can, please, I don't know, maybe try to understand me or uh, let me know your opinion about it. Because I really need someone. Because uh, on our English channel, I don't have a lot of people who are, who can listen to me so closely. And I didn't speak about this topic, but I really, I want to choose more my family as my mom and someone else and a uh, father that I don't know. It will be much better. I think so. And I want to call me John Lovegood and if you accept, let me know too. Thank you so much for watching. Then it will be much more funnier things. We are going to be showmans. And I want to be a showman for the father that I don't know. Or maybe I imagine it uh, inside of my mind right now. But for my mom, at least I want to be a showman. And uh, I want to show to my mom, not in a way that she will like, uh, yes, Igor, you made it. I mean that uh, in a way that uh, she will see that I do things that I love and uh, she will love it too. I think that yes. And uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, yes, I will do it for my mom. For my mom and for my own. For myself, for people of this world, and uh, to the things that I believe in, and I believe in this side. Thank you. Thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Be cool and always super Saldele. You can do anything in your life. You deserve it. And I deserve to do things that I want to do. 
Thank you a lot for watching. Be cool and go forward. See you next time. You are nice and amazing. And so right now, as I speak in this, I motivate myself too and inspire myself too. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Be cool. Go forward. John Lovegood. See you next time.